Hi there. Real quick before we jump into the episode. If you enjoy this episode or any of the other episodes, be sure to give us a follow or subscribe. It would also be great if you shared it with a friend or better yet, left a review so others can know how awesome it is. Thanks so much. And now, the episode. Hey there, Press Starters, and welcome to the Press Start Leadership Podcast, the podcast about game-changing leadership, teaching you how to get the most out of your product and development team and become the leader you were meant to be. Leadership coaching and training for the international game industry professional. Now, let me introduce you to your host, the man, the myth, the legend, Christopher Mifsud. Hey there, Press Starters, and welcome back to another edition of the Press Start Leadership Podcast. On this week's episode, we're discussing 10 life lessons from my parents. First up, five life lessons from my father. How understanding people can lead to success. I introduced my parents and an important life lesson when I wrote about how a childhood lesson taught me to be cautious of the narrative, or cows versus kangaroos. I was fortunate to have two amazing parents who supported and believed in me. A few life lessons from them both have shaped me as a leader and a human being. Today, I wanted to share some of what I learned from my father. First, read the room. My father had a great ability to read a room. He could walk into almost any situation and know how to deal with the individuals involved no matter their station in life. He knew what jokes and stories to tell, and more importantly, what not to say to someone. Picking up on these social cues made him welcome everywhere he went. He was the life of the party and could make anyone laugh. Two, celebrate success. Speaking of parties, my father celebrated life. He loved having big parties for his friends and family. When he was doing well, he spared no expense to make sure people had a good time. Even when he was not doing well, we still found ways to do something special. He never let anything stand in the way of enjoying life, and neither should you. 3. Listen to and know your customer. My father owned a few different businesses throughout his life. While I was growing up, I listened to him speak about his customers. He knew everything about them, not just what they needed from a business standpoint, but also their favorite foods, alcohol, and other joys. Every Christmas, We went to the liquor store and bought his customers their favorite bottles. He built lasting clients because he built real relationships with them. 4. Give without expectations As I said, when he was doing well for himself, my father was quite generous. That was a way that he showed his appreciation and love for people. He taught me to be generous if he had the ability, but most importantly, to give without expectation. If you give without expectation, you can never be disappointed. And however things turn out, they will be better than they were before. 5. Follow trends in pop culture. My father was also a comic book and sci-fi nerd. One of his many businesses was a comic store. And even after that closed, he sold collectibles and memorabilia online. He let me experience a part of that from a young age, and I helped pick out comics to buy and collect. By reading trade magazines and tracking what was becoming popular in the movies and TV, I got early exposure to the importance of learning trends in any business. Learn more about others, be generous, have fun, be a nerd, and you might get close to be as cool as my dad was. I know I'm still trying. All right, now for five life lessons from my mother. How I learned to love life. One, smile. My mother always had a smile on and was one of the happiest people I have ever known. She was one of the best influences in my life through the power of positivity. She had bad days like anyone, but she let the good days shine through more often, and that is what anyone would remember of her. 2. Welcome people into your life. My mother made friends wherever she went. I remember her taking me places as a child, and when I came back to meet up with her, she would have two or three strangers just talking with her. She had many diverse friends over the years. 
Her openness made her receptive to meeting people that someone more closed off would not have met. 3. Give everyone a second chance. Or third. She believed in people. Even when they let her down, she always believed they could and would do better, given time and support. My father believed she was too trusting, but I think this is how you can be with an open and loving heart and mind. People do have the ability for redemption and growth, if given an opportunity and support. We all have our limits, but if you write everyone off or keep yourself too guarded, you miss out on witnessing one of life's greatest gifts, the ability to grow and to better people. 4. Be open to different ways of thinking. The best way to describe my mother was a new age hippie artist. She believed things some would consider weird, and that opened my eyes to a lot of things others are less open to. I consider myself an optimistic skeptic because of that. Learning how and why people believe what they believe, and how it shapes their worldview, gives you a greater insight into the motivations and interests of those around you. 5. Pursue your interests. Landscaping, interior decorating, graphic design, pottery, and the movements of our original ancestors across the globe were all things my mother studied over the years. She owned multiple businesses to limited success, but as soon as one thing failed or lost its spark, she was on to the next thing that caught her imagination. She had an idea and she pursued it with all the gusto in the world. It inspired me to pursue all my interests, from philosophy, film, special effects makeup, and video games, to virtual reality and leadership. Pursue your dreams, because you never know what will fulfill your life. Love life and people. Remove your limiting beliefs. Chase your dreams. You will live a life of no regrets and a whole lot of happiness. Those are my 10 life lessons from my parents. Let me know if you have any life lessons from your parents or parental figures in your life in the comments below. All right, Press Starters. That's this week's episode of Press Start Leadership Podcast. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, thanks for being awesome. Give us a follow, a like, a share, and even a review if you feel like it. We'd really appreciate it. Cheers. If you haven't downloaded my free ebook, Five Heroic Leadership Skills, click on the link in the description. Tune in next week for your next episode of Press Start Leadership Podcast. Thank you. Oh, hi. Man, the episode's over, but thanks for sticking around till the end. Be sure to check out more episodes in the playlist and new episodes every week on Monday. Follow or subscribe so you never miss an episode. Don't forget to leave a review. Thanks again for being awesome.